Hi guys, welcome back, welcome back. We're watching Razio Starting Life in a New World, Season 2, Episode 23. And in last week's episode, we just started off with the gang that is currently at the mansion. We got Rem, uh, Federica, and Garfield have both stayed behind to fight off the enemies, the attackers. Sibeti met Beatrice, but it didn't conclude the way he wanted, so he still has to find her. However, they're currently fleeing with Petra and Rem and Otto. And then in the middle segment, we got Amelia's trial, her trial, her second trial, which had to do with the potential present. So the present that could have been. And she handled that very, very well. And then we got a very, like, upset Echidna, I guess you can say. She was, like, bothered. You know, I hate you. Like, you know? And then after that, we got the villagers that came to show support to Amelia, and now she's off onto her third trial child that is to be the future so apparently we're gonna see what that's about so yeah i'm hyped i'm hyped to see what the future is gonna hold um what goes down at the mansion and yeah so let's go Love me down to my blood and guts. Okay, Ray Zero, you've been doing good lately, right? It's been like so less gruesome. Like they've been, you know, he hasn't been dying. They've been keeping everything pretty clean. And then do you see the title of this episode? This seems like a her episode. <gasps> Maybe it's going to be her guts this time. <laughs> Why does this sound romantic? <laughs> I'll beat your ass forever. <laughs> oh yes, and then there was that mad beast, yeah. There was that there was that that beast there that was eating the bats. <laughs> well bro, did you see that thing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's what it's doing. <laughs> Kill it with fire. <gasps> what is this, Doctor Stone? <laughs> Where's Senku when you need him? Wow. Maybe it's a late effect? Is that oil? Severity, what science? Senku would be disappointed in you. I feel like it probably can't die that easily either, though. <laughs> Why do I feel like, was Butcher some type of, like, the name of some type of, some type of character or something? Oh, can we talk about how they killed it with fire? <laughs> well, that's to be expected. <laughs> it's true. Is it to go get Garfield or warn Garfield? Oh, Beatrice! There's Beatrice too. Right, I forgot about her. <laughs> right. Yeah, you can't get any- Bruh, you just walked through fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and I was wondering, I'm like, how accurate is the future that they're gonna show? Or is it just showing you the worst case scenario that can happen? Will you still move forward even though this can happen? You know what I mean? Bro, she's saying that's a super. <laughs> Imagine. See, are these all? Cause 
Tell me this is not an accumulation of all the futures that could have been in all the worlds that Subaru's been in? Or... She joins the tea party! Hey, don't just walk up and drink or eat the f sis. Like, dang. But she's the cool one. That's like the most non-scary thing to say. Possible one. Yeah, that's what I thought. See, that's what it's about. She showed like all the terrible ones that could happen and like, will that stop you? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's true. Honestly, that's true. Like... That looked so cushiony, I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> like, you look like the most unintimidating. <laughs> and tell her to keep her fluids out of the tea. Whoa, what? That looks so cool. Mm. What? What does she mean? Does she not look like her? The sound she made was so cute. She went, yeah. <laughs> what did she say? Who is this? Does she not expect? Is it? Bro, if the freaking rabbits are there, stop. What's going on? Oh, Frederica's whooping y'all. No, 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 no. Yo, they, none of them better die. Yo, where's Reinhardt? <laughs> oh yeah, I noticed he hasn't transformed. Like, this whole time. But she actually went to catch her. Ooh. I'm nervous, though. They have way too many enemies to fight. Just stop this. Ah! Anxiety! Bro! The sister, but like, still, that's too many. Oh my god, yeah, oh, yes, not even, bro, ski, yes, sir, yes, sir, for real. <laughs> bro. That probably wore him out, though. I wonder if Subaru's maybe gonna come in time with Beatrice and, like, I don't know. <laughs> you know. Uh, that makes sense, honestly. I was a vampire a long time ago. The witch is dead, so I can kill you, too. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like... Ah. 
Oh, but that was the first. Okay. She was definitely screwed up when she was younger. Yes, stay loyal, my friend. <laughs> he kind of needs them, though. Bro, no, see, Garfield, you, you, no die. Okay, can we talk about how Elsa really does care about that girl? Oh my god. Wow. Oh! Whoa, this is savagery. Oh my gosh. I kind of love it, though. That was just so savage on both ends, and I didn't expect that. Oh, Garfield. Okay, well, hold on a minute, though. Bro. Is it healing? <laughs> yo! Garfield's not playing around, yo! Okay, um... Oh, finally! Hold on. Is she, like, kind of relieved that she got to die in this way, I guess? By someone like Garfield? Don't mess with Leah. Ah, uh, is that Hector? I love his Seiyu though. I love Puck's voice actor, actress. I think it's a girl, I don't even know, but... The voice actor, that actor can play male or female roles. She wants to save you too, though. I love you. Bro. Bro, look at that face. Look at that face. Such a cheap emotion? Basically. <laughs> Yo, I was saying, I'm like, Puck transform, no? <gasps> It can't be. <laughs> Ooh. Is that like an illusion more than anything? Dang, Roswell, he's strong though, shit. But she doesn't actually want to kill you. As far as I'm concerned. I saw her little horn. Ah. <gasps> She's gonna burn it! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no. OMG, OMG, OMG. That's the word. Oh my god. He is attached to that. Oh, I actually feel really bad. It does suck. He, but like. His it is sad what happened. His oh my god, is he gonna hurt her? I'm scared. Bro, I freaking knew it. Oh my gosh.
Guys, I'm like, this is... Because... Bro. Sweater's not out here trying to redo things anymore. So, like, I think this may be the first time where I can actually genuinely be like... She's dead? Did a character just actually... Like, did a main... Main character, like, Ram? One of the twin... Is she actually gone? Is she dead dead now? I don't know what to think because... I don't know what to think, but logically it seems like, yo, she's... She's gone. I mean, I don't know how messed up she is by his attack, but I'm sure his attack was... Was deadly. And that looked messed up. And I don't know, they didn't show Puck. They didn't show Puck come to rescue or nothing. They could be leaving us on a cliffhanger, making it feel, seem like it's much worse than it is. But if it's not much worse than it is, Rosewall just killed Ram, and she's most likely dead dead. I'm like, I was so stunned because I don't know, like, I don't know how to respond to this. Like, she's, she's gotta be dead dead. But like, is she dead dead? No way, Ram is not dead. Ram is not dead. Oh my god, Garfield. Okay, no. But Ram is not dead. Wow, she loved Rosewall so much. Rosewall, I mean, cared about her, but like, not nearly as much as that book and, you know, Echidna and stuff like that. So he could get rid of her in a heartbeat when it came to achieving those things, which we've witnessed before. So this was to be expected that when she was going to burn that book, he was going to lash out with no regard. Oh my god. This was really impactful. You know when they throw in that music, stuff's about to be real sad and give you nightmares and keep you up bothered for the rest of the week. And like, there was no reunion with the sister, bro. What? No. She can't... She can't be dead, bro. This episode was full of combat, and it was just very... It was very impactful all around. You know, to begin with, we obviously had what was... I think the beginning beginning was the more like less emotional or impactful type of fight. We just had, you know, Stubutter and like that that beast or whatever and uh and they killed it with fire. And, you know, he he sent the other two off with Rem and then he's going back to find Beatrice. Then we moved on to Garfield and the Bow Hunter. She that fight it was really nice when the, the siblings came together, so when Fred Frederica showed up and that's it, the two were there and it's like a little sibling reunion, like the two that are staying back. She stayed back for her brother, you know, like that was cute and all, but the fight between Garfield and the Bell Hunter were very, very, for me, I can't get out of my head that bite that they did and I still don't fully get what happened there. You know, she they, he called her like a vampire. He bit her and it seems like it wasn't healing so i get the feeling that her having drunk or tasted his blood has actually affected and ruined her healing abilities so it's like his blood actually became the end of her he bit her like a beast he went so savage it was so raw and when things get like really really raw for some reason they're super impactful because rawness like that you don't rawness in general is not something that you see all all the time so when you come across that rawness of combat where he's like using his teeth and everything it just was like whoa and then how she right back at him uses teeth too that was really just like them completely becoming animals and it seems like his blood kept her from healing and she was thrilled she was like, oh my gosh. Because when she felt pain in the eye, she was like, yes, pain. Like, she she liked it. And I think when she noticed her neck wasn't healing, she was like, yo. Not only did she find Garfield endearing already, but she's like, I'm going to actually die right now. <laughs> Deep down, she felt the thrill. She's like, this is the highest thrill. I am about to end. That's what I, that's how I interpret that whole scene. And at least she's like, oh, I'm about to end by him too so she's like yes sir but deep down she was just she was completely like wow i'm gonna die and i think she was looking forward to that and it's just you know whenever they show a character that doesn't die or is too strong to die or whatever it is it is and then at some point when it comes their time to die they feel relieved like they're actually like yo it's happening 
I'm down. Like, you know, and uh, he kept his word and he's like, I'm going to kill you. But yeah, so that was very impactful. And then obviously the fight with Rosebell and Ram was impactful. Her confession there like that. Now, I don't know if she means a romantic love, if she means like, I love you, like family, like I care about you like that. In that way, whatever case it is, she says she confessed genuinely the strong emotions of love that she has for Rosewell. And she, strong emotions for sure, she was definitely completely ready to throw her life away to save him. That was her goal. The fact that they go so far back where like he was played a role in what happened to her brethren and all that. How much hatred she had for him before and how that turned and deviated into her very own feelings. Her new own feelings that she isn't allowing to be impacted or swayed by her past, past, past experiences. She chose to act out of love. And then to just throw in her face how she dies. I don't know if she's dead, y'all. She best not be. Oh my god. But the way they decide to just throw in her face how she just gets blown away by that fire. And like the music that's just playing. The very subtle sounds and the music that's playing. And then like the scene we're looking at is like that don't match so it's just so the way it plays with your mind it just is super impactful how she's like her eyes are full of love her eyes were just so happy and glistening and then she threw the book in the fire and then she was so satisfied she has blood on her face though and then right behind is the flaming ball that we know is coming from roswell and we're like yeah that's gonna hit her she's about to it was a lot it was a lot and oh Wow, I completely forgot about Amelia. That scene did happen. <laughs> yeah, and everything that happened with Amelia having um, completed the trials and everything. But why? I still don't understand why she's like, who's this? I mean, I, does she maybe not remember her? Echidna's face? I don't know. She's like, who's this? This is supposed to be Echidna. And she just assumes that that isn't Echidna. Does she? I guess she doesn't look. I don't know. Anyways. And then when she goes outside, there's a blizzard. There's the flipping blizzard okay blizzard and the blizzard seems to happen i guess after what happened with ram and roswell just now because when they were fighting there was no blizzard i'm guessing that's the timeline the fight with roswell and ram concluded and then after the blizzard thing happened hmm what, what what's with puck right now and what does this blizzard mean? Is it the same? Is this blizzard the same as that previous blizzard that I want nothing about? I don't want to know nothing about that blizzard, okay? They're buddies, but they're not part of my family, okay? So I don't know. I don't know. This is this was a, this episode was very very good. I really enjoyed it, and it's def it was very powerful. And dang, I I really next week is gonna be interesting to follow up with all this. We still have Beatrice. We have obviously Garfield and, and uh, Frederica. Frederica actually saved the girl, Maylee, which is actually, I guess we'll see what happens with all that. But yeah, we have Otto, Pet they're Petra, Rem, they're, they're good. Um, we just have Sue Better now that is going back for Beatrice. And then of course, whatever just happened in the sanctuary. So anyways, guys. Crazy episode. I'm excited for next week. Um, I'll end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave how you guys feel. Thoughts down below. No spoilers. And I'll be seeing y'all again in my next videos. Thank you so much and bye.